Hi guys, I'm Chris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the books that I hope to read in February. First up, I'll talk about the buddy read I'm doing with Murphy Napier's Patreon, which is called Steelheart. This is book one in the Reckoner series. This is about a group of people called the Epics who gain extraordinary powers and decide that because they have these extraordinary powers, they want to rule over everybody, but they want to do so in a manner that isn't really nice. And about a group of ordinary people called the Reckoners who plan to try to bring them down by figuring out their weaknesses. A guy named David wants in as one of the Epics referred to as Steelheart murdered his father. Next up, I will talk about a thriller I hope to read this month called The Other People by C.J. Tudor. I will be reading this as part of Kayla from Books and Lala's The Literally Dead Book Club, as this is their pick for the month. This is about a man named Gabe whose daughter goes missing and he sees it happen and his search for her. A waitress named Katie who understands what it's like to lose somebody they love and as her father was murdered and has interacted with Gabe. And Fran and her daughter, Alice. Fran and her daughter are on the run because she knows what happened to Gabe's daughter and knows if they catch up with her, she's dead. Another book I plan to read this month is One Perfect Lie by Lisa Scottaline. This is a thriller. Um, my mom read it and thought I would really, really like it. This seems to be about three families who each have a kid on a basketball team and a new guy comes to town to take over the basketball team and he seems to be pretty perfect but he's not. There's nothing true about him and he has a secret plan and it's going to require him to use a pawn from the basketball team and that's really all I know about it and I don't really want to know more because I like to go into my thrillers as with as little information as possible. This month I also plan to partake in Historathon. This is being run by Amanda from The Curly Reader and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. There are nine prompts during Historathon and they've put together like a bingo board. I'm going to try to get all of them, but we'll see. I really just want to amass as many bingos as I possibly can. First up is the free space, which we will all be doing, which is The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. Um, this is set in Madrid in 1957, and during this time period, Madrid is under the rule of the dictator Francisco Franco. This shows life in Spain after the Spanish Civil War. I don't know much about the book other than that, but I've heard it's really good and I'm really looking forward to getting to try this out. Another book I plan to read is also by Ruta Sepetis and it's called Salt on the Sea. This is about four people who end up on the Wilhelm Gusloff and the Wilhelm Gusloff was tasked with transporting wartime personnel and refugees during World War II. Uh, most people know about the Lusitania and the Titanic sinking but this this ship sinks and it is a and it has a bigger death toll than either of those and it is relatively unknown so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out because I had never heard of the Wilhelm Gustloff before reading the description of this book. Another book I hope to read this month is The Tattooist of Auschwitz. This is about a man named Lael who ends up in Auschwitz during World War II and to survive Auschwitz ends up tattooing his fellow prisoners and marking them with the numbers that will brand them for the rest of their lives. Next up is The Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley. Um, so this says, in the spring of 1708, an invading Jacobite fleet of French and Scottish soldiers nearly succeeded in landing the exiled James Stewart in Scotland to reclaim his crown. Um, our main character, Carrie, decides to write a story about this and ends up discovering while she's writing this story through ancestral memory that there is more to this story than is known. Another book I hope to get to is A Fall of Marigolds by Susan Meisner. 
this follows two women. Clara, who is living in September of 1911 on Ellis Island, and Taryn, who is living in September 2011, also in New York City. And they are connected by a scarf that is passed down through the generations. So I'm very curious as to how this scarf connects the two women and what their stories are. Another book I plan to read, though I plan to listen to this on audiobook, is Echo. Otto meets three mysterious sisters and finds himself entwined in a puzzling quest involving a prophecy, a promise, and a harmonica. Decades later, this harmonica finds its way to three other kids, and I'm curious to see what happens when those three kids end up with the harmonica. Next up, we'll talk about The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. This is a mystery historical fiction with dual timelines. The first timeline is set in Vermont in 1950. And it follows four girls who are bonding at their boarding school, which they believe is haunted. The other timeline takes place in Vermont in 2014, where a journalist whose sister's body was found near the boarding school 20 years earlier can't shake the feeling that the case is as cut and dried as it was made out to be. She ends up writing a story about the boarding school when it is in the process of being restored by an anonymous benefactor and ends up finding out that there are secrets about this boarding school that link to the death of her sister. Next up, I have The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. This is set in Alaska in 1974, and it follows Ernt Albright and his family. Ernt is a POW of the Vietnam War, and he comes back a very changed man and decides to move his entire family to the Alaskan wilderness. And as his mental health deteriorates, his wife and daughter end up finding that they're going to have to fend for themselves. I also hope to get to 112263 by Stephen King. This is a sci-fi historical fiction, and it follows Jake, a high school English teacher who ends up traveling through time to try to prevent JFK from being assassinated. I also hope to get to Jefferson's Sons. This is a book about Jefferson's kids with slave Sally Hemings. It follows three different points of views. Two of his kids, Beverly and Madison, and another slave boy who was close to the Hemings family. It gives an insight into what it was like to grow up as one of Jefferson's invisible children. Another book I hope to read is The Lost Girls of Paris. This book looks at three women and a ring of female spies during World War II. Grace in Manhattan ends up finding a suitcase that contains pictures of the female spies from World War II. And this book will tell the story of what these women did during World War II. Lastly, I hope to get to The Lost Crown by Sarah Miller. This is a book I'm going to be reading with Jen from the Book Refuge's Discord. This was the book that won in her poll, and it just so happens that it's historical fiction, so it worked out really, really well for the Historathon. In this book, we are going to be following Tsar Nicholas II's four daughters, during the summer of 1914, the sisters are just enjoying their time being sisters, but that's all about to change. It's set in World War I and the downfall of Imperial Russia. So, for the Historathon prompts, obviously I'm going to get the middle square, um, as I'm going to be reading The Fountains of Silence. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of the prompts and just let you know which books fulfill which prompts. So, first up we have A Male on the Cover. The Tattooist of Auschwitz, Jefferson Sons, and 112263 will all cover this prompt. Read a book set before 1900. I believe the Winter Sea will cover this, but if not, Jefferson Sons definitely will. Read a book with dual timelines. The Fall of Marigolds and The Broken Girls both have dual timelines. Read a book set outside of the U.S. and Europe. The Lost Crown will cover this one it is, as it is set in Russia. Read a book with a child as a character. I have several that fulfill this prompt. Echo, The Great Alone, Salt on the Sea, Jefferson's Son, and Broken Girls all fulfill this prompt. Read about a time or event that you are unfamiliar with. I have lots that fulfill this. I have Winter Sea, Salt on the Sea, The Lost Crown, The Fountains of Silence, and The Lost Girls of Paris. Read a book featuring a real person. I have The Lost Crown, Jefferson's Sons, The Tattooist of Auschwitz, and 112263. And finally, read a book with a location in its title. I have The Tattooist of Auschwitz and The Lost Girls of Paris. As you can see, I have lots of options to fulfill these different prompts, so hopefully if I can't get to everything, 
I will still be able to cover as many of the prompts as I can. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books or if you plan on reading any of these books, if you're taking part in Historathon and what you're reading. And I will talk to you guys in another video again soon. Bye!